Hi, my name is Brenda Fulmer. I'm a shareholder with the law firm of Cersei Dennings, Gorilla Barnhart and Shipley in West Palm Beach, Florida. I'm here to talk to you about some new mass tort projects. Uh, mass tort projects are generally um, product liability claims, mostly pharmaceutical and medical devices, although it could also involve things like uh, vehicles, uh, over-the-counter drugs, any type of products that someone might purchase. And these are claims that are generally coordinated through the court system that when large numbers of people have been affected. The first project I'd like to talk to you about is Reglan. Uh, this drug is also known as metoclopramide. Our cases focus on patients who took this drug for more than 12 weeks for the treatment of gastroesophageal reflux. And the cases that we're pursuing are on behalf of patients who have developed tardive dyskinesia or movement disorders, which may include uh, inability to control the movement of their limbs, uh, lip smacking, facial twitches, and other similar conditions. The next project I'd like to discuss with you is the oral sodium phosphate products. These are both over-the-counter as well as prescription drug products that are used for bowel prep prior to colonoscopies and other surgical procedures. And these products uh, earlier this year were linked to renal failure and a characteristic injury called acute phosphate nephropathy. Our law firm has been involved for more than a year in representing plaintiffs who have suffered harm as a result of the use of an intraarticular pain pump. These are external pain pumps that have been utilized for many years in connection with shoulder and knee surgeries. Uh, a catheter is inserted into the joint space and anesthetic drugs are pumped into that space by the pain pumps. Unfortunately, delivery of drugs into the joint space can result in chondrolysis, which is a condition that has been linked directly to the util utilization of the pain pumps. Our law firm represents several plaintiffs who have suffered crush injuries as a result of their operation of Rhino ATV vehicles. These uh, ATVs were designed, specifically designed with a very narrow wheelbase so that they could be pulled up into the back of a pickup truck. Unfortunately, this particular design element and marketing advantage for the Rhino ATV has led to hundreds and hundreds of unnecessary injuries and deaths. There are several weight loss products that have been in the news recently and are the subject of mass tort litigation. That would include Hydroxycut, as well as Orlistat, which is also known as Zenical or Ali. All of these drugs have been associated with liver failure. Our law firm represents a number of girls and young women who have suffered blood clot events as a result of their use of Yaz or Yasmin. These are oral contraceptive products manufactured by Bayer that are unique in, in the progestin that they utilize. Uh, the drugs have been associated with a far greater incidence of blood clots and gallbladder disease than other birth control pills on the market. In addition, uh, the manufacturer has been cited on several occasions for improper marketing practices by the Food and Drug Administration. The next project I'd like to discuss with you is the Zimmer Durham Cup hip implant cases. There are more than 12,000 patients in the United States who have received these defective products. These are hip implant devices that should last for a number of years but are failing prematurely, causing the patients to undergo additional unnecessary surgeries as well as very painful rehab. In the summer of 2009, there was a recall of Medtronic Paradigm Quick Set insulin pumps. These are devices that diabetics rely on every day to deliver insulin to their bodies. Uh, patients, because the devices are not working correctly, have suffered diabetic coma and elevated blood sugar levels. For more information, visit our firm's website at searcylaw.com.